Hey guys, it's Michael from DothMagation.com and I have a short review of new Codex Orcs for you. I've actually started with uh, Orcs in 8th edition and it seems like I might finish it with Orcs because it's a pretty nice Codex with some decent uh, units and combos to use, so let's get to it. Um, the general rules are almost the same as in Index but there are some small cha changes like here we go now you can reroll both or any dice uh, when charging and you have a new rule Daka 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 which uh, is awesome with some units and stratagems so basically on uh, unmodified hit rolls of 6 you get an extra attack and most of the units have those rules so that's very good uh, HQ options, those are quite disappointing unfortunately because we've lost many HQ options. Uh, for example Warboss, there's only one option for, for Warboss and it's just a regular guy that the Games Workshop has the model. So you have the guy with Power Claw and Rocket Launcher. You can change some small weapons but not so much. Uh, Gas cool is still awesome and pretty pricey with 235 points. Uh, Big Macs are pretty much the same. Um, unfortunately, only Big Mac in Mega Armor uh, can have the Custom Force Field, so there is no Big Mac without Mega Armor with Custom Force Field. There is no Big Mac with on a bike, so HQ options are pretty disappointing. A weird boy is also a very solid choice. Um, actually, I've, when I've started to make some uh, army lists, I will show you them right somewhere here in a short time. Um, I've decided to go with uh, three battalions to have as much common points as I can. And I was pretty much stuck on HQ options because after I took three weird boys and some big mech with custom force field there isn't there is not a very good option after that because gas cool is pretty pricey and maybe death killer war track is pretty, pretty pretty nice but it only has four plus armor save so it might die pretty fast on the battlefield um, boys are Pricey, 7 points, so up 1 point, and on 32mm bases, so not so many of them will fight uh, after they will pile in. Gretchen are awesome, uh, Pain Boys are the same, Max, Runt Hurts, Burna Boys the same. Uh, this is my favorite right now, Tank Boosters. Um, I think that 15 of them is pretty a must right now. So you got uh, one shot, uh, assault, strength 8, minus 2 AP and flat 3 damage with some awesome things to counter those nasty Imperial Knights because you can reroll all hits uh, made by this unit and after we'll come and after we'll go to some stratagems you'll see how powerful that unit might be. And I think that 15 of those guys in a battle wagon might be a pretty solid choice. Everything is a bit cheaper as in the Codex, but I think those guys still cannot compete with some Elders or Imperial Guard uh, Astro Militarum. War bikes, those new vehicles, those are, on paper they seem really good, like two shots uh, with a with ballistic skill, 3 plus because they can add 2 uh, strength 8 minus 3 d6 but still it's 120 points for each of those and very big base I don't think that we'll see many of them on the battlefield uh, storm boys as well a point more mech guns the tractor cannon is pretty funny because uh, you automatically hit so it's pretty awesome with the orcs but you lose the daka daka option with that and it's only one shot so still 
it's not so good. And my favorite battle wagon, because it's only 120 points right now, and you can put it in a deep strike. So it's really, really very good. And I would like to place my 15 storm uh, tank boosters here. So they have um, 12 move. So it has 12 move. You can uh, hide it somewhere, then move a bit, shoot with the uh, tank boosters. So shoot again with the tank boosters, so it's really really good. Those guys are pretty much the same. And those two, uh, I know that many people don't like don't like it, but I really really dig the Gorkan out and Morkan out. Now standing on 310 and 311 points, those are very solid choice cho choices for your heavy options, for your heavy slot. Um, the Gorkanaut is pretty much an orcish imperial knight, a gallant, let's call it, uh, with some pretty much with some pretty decent shooting, and you have a, a stratagem that you can put place um, place those in the um, deep strike. So really, really awesome. Flash gates. Many people tell me that those are awesome, but. 30 points per orc is too much for me um, and also they are freebooters so they cannot shoot twice in sh shooting phase so tank boosters are still my top choice uh, flyers are pretty decent they, they, all weapons in the orc codex got some more d6s or more shots and with daka daka uh, these are really good but let's go to the most important thing for me the clan cultures bad moons this is my top choice for shooting units because you can reroll hit rolls of one made by those models actually tank boosters already have the real all dices for shooting uh, at vehicles, but at normal units it still can be useful. And most important thing, they have a stratagem for two command points showing off. So you can shoot twice in uh, shooting phase. And then you can also use more DACA. And now DACA 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 ability triggers on unmodified hit rolls of five and sixes. So this is also awesome. Uh, pretty much if you take statistics you should kill one Imperial Knight per turn using four command points on one unit of um, tank boosters so this is pretty awesome and what, what more? Eagle Sons add one to move characteristic of models with this culture and add one to advance and charge rolls made for them so you take and now Gorkana will have one plus one to, to its charge then you can use Teleporter and put your Gorkan out in the Deep Strike. And then you can use two command points to um, charge using 3d6 when making charge move, plus one for the Evil Suns. So now you have a pretty nice Orcish Imperial now charging on the second turn with 3d6, so it should be enough to reach the opposing force, but you have to spend many command points to do it. Uh, another one great took from probably the Codex Space Marines, Unstoppable Green Tide. So basically you can just take any unit of boys uh, that has uh, less than half its starting number of models and remove it from the battlefield. You can then set it up again wholly within 6 of the edge of the battlefield and more than 9 from any enemy mod models. So when you want to use Teleporter with running speed, there is 4 CPs. Um, more DACA with showing us more 4 CPs. You want to use Unstoppable Green Tide, and now you have and now you are standing on 11 command points. So I think that 3 battalions or brigade is a mandatory pick here. Uh, my army list, I'll show you right here, um, would probably start with one unit of orcs with shooters that will use the jump and will get to the enemy as fast as possible and shoot 
everything that is like uh, screen for them so any um, conscripts or scouts then on the second turn uh, another unit of uh, the, the jump will get there and also and and se in the second turn I would use the jump on the second unit of my orcs and also the Gorkan out would come from deep strike and now we have like several waves of units attacking the opponent you can also use the unstable green tide so in a third turn you can use uh, one of those two units that is like um, almost dead you can refresh it and fight with them again artifacts those are also pretty disappointing because either there are, there are four HQ choices which are not so good uh, you might use maybe a plus one to psychic test for your wheel boy to be sure to make the, the jump work maybe a super super cyborg body plus five uh, feel no pain this that might be useful on the war strike death killer maybe with a four plus invulnerable save uh, we're gonna make a tough war boss from it what else um, that's probably it all of the all of the rest in artifacts are pretty bad uh, warlord traits those are actually awesome and I, I really don't know what to pick because uh, plus one strength and attack is awesome four plus inf is awesome um, replacing um, removing uh, your warlord and d3 friendly units uh, from the battlefield and setting them up again is also awesome if you want to uh, hide your battle wagon or basically anything that you want to hide from the opponents so these are really good and I would like to know what do you think about those maybe you have your fa favorites and we'll figure out one and we'll figure out some pretty nasty army list to face those awful elders because in Poland Elders are so awful that we can't stand them here. I mean, th those are awesome models, but the they are so OP. Okay, guys, thank you for watching it. Let me know in the comments your favorite picks from the army list. We might come together with some nasty tricks to face those elders, because elders are really good right now and we have a tough time in Poland to face them um, that's it guys, Thank you. thanks for watching and see you guys next time